Hey friends, hope this finds you well. Uh, excited to see everybody virtually. Uh, just an update of kind of where we are uh, at Central. We're filming this on Thursday, um, but as you know, you'll see this tomorrow, Friday, Governor Cooper has said that we begin phase one of our coming back together. And, and one of the questions we've been getting and, and been asked is what does that mean for Central? And so, so why don't you start off, what, what does that mean for us? Well, if you look at phase one, it really doesn't change anything right now. And I think he's projected that will go at least to the 22nd of May. But then when you take a peek at phase two, don't you think the suggestion is it will not, we will not be gathering or opening the church in the foreseeable future? One of the things that we, we're really committed to is to keeping everybody safe and, and talking to uh, leaders both denominationally and, and friends of other denominations uh, some of the things we do here, like sing, right. which is wonderful, is is really problematic, potentially spreading the virus. Right. And so for the foreseeable future, we're going to continue to pour our time, our energy, and our efforts to connecting each other uh, digitally. Right. And then also, uh, like with our Stephen ministers and our, our pastoral staff, through phone calls yeah. uh, with folks that don't connect digitally. Let me say just a brief word about that in the meantime. One thing that I have felt over the last few weeks is that in the meantime, while we're moving through this season we didn't plan for or prepare for, I think our, our job is to be stewards of these mm -hmm. things, to try to figure out what can be learned here, what can be gained here, what are we going to find here, what, what are going to be the, you know, the strange treasures along the way that we'll want to hold on to and, and, and learn from. The other thing I want people to feel and know that our staff is um, not in a state of um, being on sabbatical leave. No. And I love the old Will Rogers quote. He said, even if you're on the right track, you'll still get run over if you just sit there. <laughs> and what I have sensed here in the church, our lay leadership, our staff, is that there's a forward momentum. Mm -hmm. We're not just sitting there. Yeah, so, so even though we're still worshiping, and we're still preaching, and it's still preaching, and we're still we're still meeting virtually, uh, know that that connection is so important. Speaking of preaching, so where, where are you taking us this? So? Well, you know, you, you talked just then about some of the things that we're learning, and and this week when we come together for worship, uh, we're going to be in Psalm forty two, and um, in Psalm forty two. It talks about the deer that pants for the water. It's one that is really familiar to all of us. But one of the things that I've noticed um, in my spirit and in my experience is how important paying attention to silence uh -huh. has been for me. Okay. In a quiet moment, um, in some quiet moments that maybe have been more <laughs> right. than normal right. for us right now, and what God's teaching us okay. through those silent moments. So as we look at this psalm this weekend uh we're gonna we're gonna talk about how christians over the ages yes. have learned from silence and in addition to preaching we pass such good music oh i'm excited about this tell, tell yeah, me see what yeah. this weekend so first of all um two marvelous flautists from our church uh, gerald and grace Sloan. oh my gosh they're gonna, they're gonna lead off mm -hmm. uh, during the, the prelude and i know Many of you have experienced the immense talent of Christina Maxwell, and she's going to be here live streaming. Live, live with us for, right. for two songs, and, right. and uh, we'll hear another choir. Another anthem. choir anthem uh, that Corey has picked out for us. So uh, it's going to be a great weekend of worship. Uh, we, we're so thankful for the way everybody's tuning in and participating, uh, and we feel that presence. God bless you all.